Hi, shalom everyone, continuing this fantastic series of the Dafyomi, actually in a moshav at the moment here in Israel, quite near my area of Bet Shemesh, absolutely beautiful, beautiful music. I think it's uh, for a, a lot of Moroccan Jewish families actually come to over here. Look, surrounded by the trees of Eretz Israel, there's parks here, there's everything here. You have the Israeli flags right behind me over here and uh, beautiful, beautiful weather, also perfect views. You've got the mountains right behind me. I think there's about probably a thousand people that live here, but the nature's amazing. The parks is amazing. I, I think they've got a good bakery also. So no better place to stand for Shabbat. Look at the plants over here. And what we're talking about is not just about how beautiful Israel is, because it's the most beautiful country in the world and the best country in the world. We're talking about in today's page of the Gemara here in Kuf Yud Zion of Masechet Baba Bacha. That's page 117 naturally over here. And what's going on in friends, friends today? We know that there's various Pesukim verses in Sefer Bamidbar that talks about how the land of Israel is going to be divided up once Am Yisrael entered this fantastic land of Israel. Naturally, we know that we left after the backbreaking, uh, terrible labor that took place for all those years in Egypt. We would embark on a journey 40 years around the wilderness while we received naturally the Torah at Mount Sinai and that was culminated by uh, us entering the land of Israel. So how is it going to be divided when we come inside the land? Now, first of all, there's two different Pesukim in Sefer Bamidbar that illustrate uh, how it's going to be divided up. Now, in these two Pesukim, how do we render it? Is it people that will enter the land? It comes from when you left Egypt? The, what your, your, the father's count, we know Bamidbar has loads of different countings of different numbers. Was it we take the census of when we left Egypt, the people that come in? Or is it the people that come in, it goes according to the people that left Egypt? Or when you enter the land of Israel 40 years later, because we know naturally that in Egypt, many people still died between, especially men, between the age of 20 to 60. This is something that actually occurred. So it could be massive uh, ramifications on the figures. What if people married into other people, other communities? All these different aspects is going to be discussed in today's page where there's different interpretations using the different pasukim, the different verses to actually distinguish what was what and how was it divided up, how much of each and which tribe, maybe some, some, someone with a small family is going to get a, a much bigger portion than someone with a huge family. And we know that all throughout the wilderness, we know there's a map of the land of Israel where different tribes got different allocations of different fertile fields. We know that Reuben, Gad and uh, half of Menashe, they wanted to be on, I think, the border of Israel and not come inside outright. But uh, it was all divided up specifically. But one thing you can say about this, this beautiful land, this beautiful country, this is the place to be. It's all gold. It's a land flowing with milk and honey. That's why across the world, everyone's saying about this inch of Israel, this uh, occupation of this, this is occupation of that and stuff like that. Every inch, you've got like countries which are like hundreds of times bigger and no one cares about it. But when it comes to Israel, every inch counts because this is real gold. So wish you all well. Take care. Chag Sameach Mo'odim and take care and have a great day.